Welcome and happy Stamp Timber. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with another exclusive product. And this one is from Avery L. and it's called Holiday Bells. This is a layering set. So you have solid and also outline imagery that goes together. So you can add different colors to each of those solid pieces and then stamp your outlines on top. And it also has little details that you can add to your bells. I'll be stamping my card with Happy Holidays on the top and then I'll add my bells underneath so that they can be hanging down from the message. I'm starting off with the solid pieces and I'm using a variety of Simon Says Stamp inks in blues and grays and I'll be inking these up twice and it'll give me a nice solid image each time. It's really handy to use your Misty so that you re-ink and realign right on top of your first image. As I'm filling up my panel, I am overlapping some of these bells and I am going between the two sizes so I have some large bells and smaller bells. Once I've completed stamping my solid pieces, I am going to let this set overnight so it can dry completely and then I can go back to it and start adding my silver embossing. So I've laid some of the outline stamps and those details that go inside the bells onto my Misty and I'll be inking this up with Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink. And I'll make sure that I ink this up really well to get some good coverage. You can also stamp over this twice just to make sure that you have everything covered. It's hard to see because the ink is completely clear. I'll be using Simon's Stamp Silver Embossing Powder so it goes really well with my blues. And I have a scrap piece of paper underneath so I can catch all the extra. I'll sprinkle this on, then I'll tap off the excess give it a quick look and see if I've missed anything, add more if I need to, and then I can heat set this with my heat gun. I always like to heat my gun up a little bit before I do any type of metallic embossing for the best results. I'm adding a few of the pine boughs just under the Happy Holidays and I'm using my fog ink, one blue and one green, just to add a little bit of color to the top and you can stamp right over your embossing. I'm also using a silver pen and I'll be drawing some lines straight up from the bells up to the message. And I'm using the Tim Holtz design ruler with the metal edge and this will give me a nice sharp line with my pen. To finish my card off I've added some sequins, distressed glitter, and some Nouveau glitter drops for a little bit of added sparkle. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on my card using the Avery-L Stamp Timber Collaborative Exclusive. Remember that these stamp sets are limited and are only available while supplies last. Be sure to visit our blog for additional inspiration and as always, thanks so much for watching.